Hey y'all, in 4 h and H here. I want to show you something. You know, I've, I've, I've shown in many videos how to block interference from, say, two kilohertz away, where you use your shift and width. And well, it might you might wonder, well, what do you do when you've got interference from both sides? So you got interference from above the frequency you're listening to, interference from below the frequency you're listening to. Let me see if I can catch this in time. Watch. I'm listening for a soda station here on 14253, and he's in Washington State running QRP, so slim chance especially with all that going on, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. Let's see, I think I can get both the meter and the DSP in place here, uh, in view. So, so I'm narrowing down to 1.5 kilohertz. Now you hear the high pitch? I turn my shift on, I usually leave it around one, anywhere from 140 to 200. But now we've got other interference, hear that? Because there's a station, what's this? There's a station at 255. And there's another one at 252. And I'm trying to listen at 253. So what do you do? You can't solve it completely, okay? That's the thing. But what you can do is, well, okay, you'd have heard me say that what you'd wanna do is shift positive to get rid of that low honking sound, which with upper sideband, if it's a high pitch sound, it's coming from above the frequency you're listening to. If it's a lower honking sound like we just heard, then it's coming from below the frequency you're listening to. Now that reverses with lower sideband. On lower sideband, if it's a high pitch metallic sound, then it's coming from below the frequency you're listening to. And if it's a low honking sound, it's coming from above. Okay, so just remember that it changes between lower sideband and upper sideband. So anyway, you hear the metallic sound because I mean, I'm shifted positive. I'm going to even pull more of it in. But there's shift zero. Uh, there's some. There's a soda. That might be a chaser. All right. But then, if I go negative, let's say to negative. Well, they're not talking right now. Let's wait till they talk again. Where's QR Mary when you need it? I think the other guys might have left. Well, there's somebody 3K down. Okay, I think they moved. But that's okay. You you got to hear what, what I wanted you to hear, and I'll still show you the answer here. So if, if, and I think they're not transmitting at 255 anymore either, but the one at 255, because this is upper sideband, will, will, present a high pitch metallic sound when they're, you know, bleeding over as it's called, uh, you know, they're two kilohertz away. They could have been two and a half, even three, if they've got a little bit, you know, of a dirty transmitter. And I say dirty transmitter, just, you know, how things are adjusted. But you hear that high pitch metallic sound, you want to go negative with the shift. But when you go negative with the shift and there's somebody Again, upper sideband, there's somebody below this frequency, and that other one was at 252. Now you're going to pull in more of that lower honking sound that you're getting from them. So what do you do when you're sandwiched in between the two like that? Well, here's the deal. The audio spectrum, as far as our hearing is concerned, um, and our voice, the most intelligibility is coming from up in that 2000 to 2500 hertz range. So by cutting out that metallic high pitch sound, I'm making it a little easier to hear the station I wanna hear. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna hear some of that low pitch honking sound, but that, while it's annoying, it does not take away from the area that I need to hear, which is the area where they're most intelligible. So, and that's where that high pitch, pitched uh, metallic sound was. The high pitched metallic sound is up there on that upper end where the voice is most intelligible. You know, which kind of leads me to talk about contour, just to throw this in here a little extra. 
That's what you're doing with the contour filter. You're sneaking up. Uh, let me turn all this off. I usually start at 2000 and then go up or down. But what you're doing with the contour filter is you're sneaking up in that area where the voice is most intelligible, but you're knocking down the noise uh, just below it. And uh, man, you know, you know, you could even, depending on the situation, you might go a little bit above, uh, you know, above 2,500. But here, I usually find that somewhere between 1,700 and 2,200 gets the job done using contour. And again, what are you doing? You're trying to get rid of some of the noise that's up there in that area where the voice is most intelligible. And so that's why when I've got them, when I'm sandwiched between them, then uh, and I'm getting the low pitch honking sound and I'm getting the high pitch metallic sound, I'm gonna go negative shift and knock out the high pitch metallic sound. That'd be my priority because getting rid of it will help me hear the station I'm trying to pull out. Yes, it'll be annoying to hear the low pitch honking sound from the station, in this case, USB, so that's the station below. But, you know, what do you do? You know, the deal is you're just trying to pull out the station you want to pull out. And again, don't forget, lower sideband, all that reverses. The low pitch honking sound will indicate that the frequency that the interfering station is on is above where you're listening. The high pitch metallic sound is going to mean that the station interfering with you is below the frequency you're listening to. But now, don't forget, this with modern DSP, the shift doesn't change. Older radios, it did, okay? But I don't want to bog you down with that. With modern radios, all you got to do is remember this. High pitch metallic sound, shift negative. Low pitch honking sound, shift positive. And on, on, on this radio here, the 5000 I'm teaching with, but it doesn't matter. It's the same on the DX10, 710. I mean, uh, 891, the DSP is handling it. And so you can just remember, all you gotta do is shift negative to get rid of a high pitch metallic sound, shift positive to get rid of, or I say, you don't get rid of it, you minimize it. Um, well, to some extent you can get rid of it really, uh, especially the high pitch metallic sound. So high pitch metallic sound, shift negative, low pitch honking sound, shift positive, does not matter whether it's lower sideband or upper sideband on these modern rigs with this DSP. All right, I hope that uh, helped you out. And again, don't forget, what you wanna do is prioritize getting rid of the high pitch sound because the low pitch sound, while annoying, can be tolerated so you can pull out who you're trying to hear. Hey, thanks for watching videos on my channel. Please stand by for 32 more seconds. I would like to recognize five of the Patreon team long haulers. Those are people who supported this channel for a year or two or more. Without them, you wouldn't be watching this video, so I want to recognize them. Hey, thanks again. 73 from N4 H&H. &H.